one of the presentation that was going to occur at the AAN, which we were really excited about, uh, was the long-term data from the open label extension of the GW uh, CBD or epidiolex trial in lennox gastaut syndrome. And what we found in the long open label extension is the majority of patients who participated in the randomized controlled portion did enter the open label extension. Uh, and we were really pleased to see that the tolerability overall was pretty good, although there were adverse effects. Uh, most of them were mild uh, and were very similar to the side effects that we had seen in the randomized controlled trials. Uh, we were also very happy to see that throughout the open label extension period, um, efficacy was maintained. Uh, and many people had a significant reduction in seizures, including I think at every time point we looked at, uh, over 6% of the kids were completely seizure free. So given the in highly refractory nature of the patients that enrolled in this trial, um, I was really impressed by those results. So what we learned from this trial, um, we all know that patients with lennox gastaut syndrome, almost by definition, develop highly refractory epilepsy. And even though we've had several products that we know can help in lennox gastaut including several that have been FDA approved for the treatment of seizures in LGS, uh, there continues to be a significant unmet need for safe and well-tolerated therapies for these patients. Uh, so what I think the take-home message from this was is that there was a lot of enthusiasm about CBD with the randomized controlled trials, but those were brief several week trials, I mean, 14 weeks, including titration. Uh, so to see that the efficacy is maintained over a much longer period of time and that the tolerability um, was really pretty good, I think gives means to me, and I think to a lot of people uh, that looks like GWCBD is gonna be a very important addition to the um, options we have for the treatment of these patients. The tolerability, I think that we've seen and what's also been very reassuring is if you look across all of the open label extension trials that GW has, the LGS open label extension that was this presentation, um, the Duvet syndrome open label extension as well as the TS, um, we're seeing very consistent um, profiles with regard to tolerability um, as well as maintenance of efficacy. Uh, so I think it means that although this is not a medication that's going to be a big win for every patient, um, clearly many patients are going to benefit from this. Another presentation at the AAN was going to be the open label extension from the GW CBD Dravet trials. Uh, and very similar to what was seen in the LGS open label extension, um, what we found was that the majority of patients who were in the randomized control trials I did enter the open label, which is always very impressive when almost 100% of patients, it wasn't quite 100, but over, I think 95% of patients from the randomized control trial did enter the open label extension. Uh, and what we saw, again, similar to the LGS trial is there was maintained efficacy uh, during that time. And the tolerability also uh, continues to have a very favorable profile compared to many of our other anticonvulsant medications. Um, there were, as was not really surprising, a high number of adverse of events, um, but most of them were mild and many of them resolved and most of them did not lead to discontinuation um, from the trial. So again, suggesting that uh, GWCBD is going to be a very important treatment option for us with our patients with um, seizures associated with Dravet syndrome.